Hey everybody, welcome back to homerecordingmadeeasy.com and here on my YouTube channel. In this quick video we're gonna to do today, I'm gonna to give you a little Studio One tip. Um, some people have asked me in recent videos, cause they've seen me use the new version two color palette or the color toolbar here in Studio One. And a lot of folks that are new to Studio One wanna know, where do you get that? I don't see that in my version of Studio One because it doesn't come with Studio One. It's a, it's a download, it's a free download. I'm gonna show you how to do that today. So if you look at the top here, next to our micro toolbar um, icon, you have this little color wheel. And if you click it here, you have more colors to choose from than the standard color palette. And you have some different features here. So I'm just gonna show you how to install it today so everybody knows so you can stop sending me emails. <laughs> so before we get to that, like we'd seen this video, hit the subscribe button. Also, if this is your first time here, especially if you're a Studio One user, go out to homerecordingmadeeasy.com. I wanna give you a free mixing course. It's right on the homepage. It's worth about a hundred bucks. It's my gift to you just for visiting homerecordingmadeeasy.com. And if you stick around till the end of the video, I'm gonna give you something else that's gonna help you with your Studio One training. So here we go, we're in Studio One. So how do you get the toolbar? Real simple. You need to go out to this website, which I'm gonna link in the description box below. And here it is. It's a studio one script.wixsite.com. I'll link and I'll uh, put it in the description box below, or you can uh, you can pause the video here and you can see it right here. There is the link for this. Okay. So once you get the link, you get to this page, you can download this for uh, Windows and or Mac. I'm gonna show you how to do it on a Mac, but it's a free thing right here. You download it, version 2.7.3 is the latest as of the recording of this video. It shows you and tells you exactly how to do it on Windows or a Mac. I'm running a Mac, so I did it on a Mac. You download it. You can even watch a video on how to install it. It's really simple. They got some other information about the different versions and what is new. When you download that file to your Mac or your PC, it is going to be uh, a zip file right here. And on a Mac, you're gonna double click, you're gonna open the zip file, and you're gonna get this script uh, package file. You're gonna right click on this and you're gonna copy this, okay? And now we're gonna go into our applications folder, again on a Mac, and we're going to our Studio One um, program. And again, Studio One should be closed when you do this. I have it open right now, but I've already done this. So I'm just gonna show you how to do it. I'm gonna go to Studio One here. I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna go to Show Package Contents. Click on that. You're gonna go to the Contents folder and you're gonna go to the Scripts folder, which is right here. And then you are gonna paste it in here. And it's right here, I've already done that. And when you paste it, when you launch Studio One, you will see the color palette up here. And then this gives you a little bit more colors in the standard. Uh, there's other things that you can do here where you can just color the events, just color the tracks. You can read up all about it. It's pretty simple. Here's a little uh, question mark here, which will bring you out to their website and show you how to do it. If you want to learn how to do it, you can just, uh, go ahead and you can click on the little question mark here at the end. So that's how you install this version two of the color palette. Again, go out to the website in the link below and you, if you're a Windows user, it'll show you how to do it with Windows. I'm sure it is just as simple. So thanks so much for watching this video. Hope it was helpful. Now, if you're here cause you're a Studio One user and you want the most comprehensive training for beginners using Studio One. Again, you're gonna to go to homerecordingmadeeasy.com after you get that free mixing course, which by the way, was done in Studio One. Um, and you wanna check out some of my other paid training courses. And I have specific training to just Studio One and I have a whole catalog of beginner recording, mixing, EQ, compression, mastering classes, as well as intermediate and advanced courses. If you wanna take any of my paid training courses, I wanna give you a 25% discount. Just use the coupon code YouTube25. That will take 25% off any one of the training courses on my website. And again, if you go to the training courses link, you'll see the beginner's courses, the advanced courses, then you'll also see right in the middle on that page, you'll see Studio One courses. Go check out the Studio One courses, especially if you're into Studio One. It is the best way to get up and running in Studio One with no fuss and no muss and no frustration. So until the next video, I've been Dave with homerecordingmadeeasy.com. Thank you so very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.